If you haven't heard, Sega Japan recently updated their PSO2 player site with some new NGS official release information. As always, links will be in the description. What we're going to do in this video is break down the recently revealed and translated class skill trees. I will go over each skill shown in the images provided, what they do, but will also provide insights into some of the skills hidden in the images, but were found in the data mines. So there will be some slight spoilers. For those who don't want to be spoiled, I will call these sections out for each class in addition to the timestamps in the description. For those who would like a more physical copy for their records, you can find my Google Doc in the description as well, listing all of these skill descriptions discussed today. So let's get started. Now there is something that I want to call out before we get into the Tekker skills, and that is this new imagination of what we would call debuffs in NGS, specifically physical and elemental debuffs. The reason I call this out for Tekker is because Tekker will likely be able to take advantage of both the physical and elemental debuffs. Quickly going through them, physical debuffs can be inflicted by continually dealing damage to certain parts of the enemy. Elemental debuffs are triggered by continued attacks that exploit that enemy's elemental weakness. The debuff can have varying effects depending on the enemy, but will often weaken the enemy or provide huge openings. As we will see in the Tekker skill tree, Tekker plays around these concepts very heavily. Shift to D-Band, main class only, active skill. Applies a field that provides damage bonuses as well as damage reduction for you and anyone within the area of effect. Shift the D-Band Party Share, main class only. When using Shift the D-Band, any party member within the area will be affected by Shift the D-Band, regardless of distance. Shift the Effect Amplifier, main class only. Shift the D-Band provides downed or debuff accumulation up. Shifta Effect Down Damage Boost, main class only. While Shifta and D-Band are active, when an enemy is downed or suffers from a physical or elemental debuff, damage will be increased. D-Band PP Recovery, main class only. D-Band provides a natural PP regeneration. D-Band Status Guard, main class only. D-Band will provide resistance to status effects. Reverser bonus. Shifta and D-Band are automatically applied to revived players. Elemental weak bonus. Gain a bonus to your photon blast accumulation when attacking an enemy's weak element. Awake yell. Increase photon blast accumulation when attacking boss type enemies. Rest assign. Tekker. Main class only. When using rest assigns to heal yourself and other players, your healing effect will increase. Slow landing charge. Slow aerial descent when charging techniques and technique photon arcs. This would include weapons such as wand. Barta block. Uncharged barter techniques mark target. After stacking, these marks will detonate to do additional damage by a charged barta technique. Zondi clad. After striking enemies with Zondi techniques, an electrical charge will be built up, boosting damage of the next charged Zondi technique, while also causing chain lightning damage to hit multiple enemies. These next skills were not seen in the image on the player's site. With that said, these skills were usable during the closed beta. Wand element change. Element for tech explosions is now influenced by the last charge technique that was casted. Wand Element Revoke. Holding down the wand weapon action removes the element of the tech explosion. Some quick thoughts on Wand Element Revoke. I think the purpose is gonna be really playing between the physical debuffs or the physical downs and the elemental downs. And so while you might want to cause an elemental down at one point, and thus using Wand Element, there might be other times where you do not want that to trigger or you want to focus on physical downs or debuffs. And so you would remove the element on the wand to trigger these effects. Wand Lovers, active. While active, wand normal attacks will block or deflect enemy attacks. In addition, 
gained super armor for a limited time. This skill was not in the beta, but it was announced and shown during the last Prologue 4 stream. For more information on wand lovers, click the link in the top right to see a more detailed description of how this skill works. Tricky Capacitor, active skill. Shoot a flurry of talus cards at an enemy while using talus. The gauge for this ability is built up when attacking with talus. This skill was also introduced in the Prologue 4 stream and looks to be shared between both Force and Tekker. Wand Parry Counter and Counter Plus. Essentially the same technique, guard counters with wand action unleash a gap closer when the normal attack is pressed. These last three skills were not shown in the image on the player's site, nor were they introduced or discussed during the Prologue 4 stream. This section is the spoiler section. Please be advised. Shifta D-Band Extension, main class only. Shifta and D-Band duration will increase. One Guard Reflection. An elemental technique explosion occurs when blocking an attack with wand weapon action. It is currently unknown if an explosion will occur if you have removed the wand explosion using wand element revoke. Wand parry, counter advanced. An additional shockwave is added to the wand weapon action during counter attacks. Though we don't have visual confirmation, based on the description of this skill, this is most likely Lavis Cannon or the S5 Wand Shockwave ability. For those not familiar, this shockwave would occur every third normal attack, where you would shoot out a beam that would hit the opponent. For me personally, this is the number one skill I'm waiting for when the game drops June 9th. Once again, if you found this helpful and informative, feel free to leave a like and a comment. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video we go over the next class.